Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back, kids and queens. Let's get into this video. Hey you guys, so today is already starting off like chaotic. Come here, Lamari. Look at her. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah. She got that all on her face. He keep asking for cereal that I'm trying to make. Here, let me wipe this off your face. Sorry about that noise. It's the dryer. I'm trying to finish up these clothes so I can start packing for our trips to Cleveland. So, yeah. And then on top of that, I don't know what it is about. I, I'm, I'm thinking this is a Houston thing. Because this happened to me last year, but for some reason in the summertime, it's like swarming with flies and it's so annoying. Like, and then they don't have screen doors on the balcony or on my on my um front entrance. So it's like flies could get in. Anytime you walk through the door, a fly come in. Anytime you take the dog out, a fly come in. And it's just like very frustrating because now uh, it's nets. Cause I got fruit and it's just so irritating. It's so irritating. And waking up to see nets and all of that is annoying. Even with a clean house, they still, it's like they're not going away. And that's super annoying y'all, super annoying. I don't know if it's a Houston thing or what. If it's the area that I live in or what. Like, huh, throw this away. But y'all, let me make them some cereal. I need to make my coffee because yeah, it's one of those mornings. I need to get into my work because it's one of them mornings. So, yeah. Don't catch me. Mamas, you gotta get down so I can make your cereal. <laughs> you want this kind? <laughs> Lamar, what kind of cereal you want? Marla, let's go. Cause I'm not, I don't got time today. Here, this the kind you want, Lamar? What kind of cereal do you want? No. The same kind as Lamar? I mean Marcus? Yeah. What kind of cereal? Do you want this one? Yeah, but give me This one? Get your spoons. Get your spoons. Get your spoons. Alright, here's your cereal. Here's your cereal. Yay! Give her a spoon. Here. You got a spoon in here. Oh, just spoons. No. Oh, wait. We just eat three. We just eat three. I want to make a big spoon for me. No. Who got one? Okay. Yeah. Mm. You move. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm trying a different kind of coffee. Um. This is Maxwell House. I don't know how I'm feeling about it too much because it don't give that coffee smell that I want it to give. It don't smell like coffee, but it tastes, I feel like all coffee tastes the same to me, so 
But I wanted to try something different to see if it would be a different taste, which it wasn't. So, yeah, I already did my water. Oh, let me plug it up. Y'all, I'm all over the place this morning. I got to gather my thoughts, gather, gather myself, brush my teeth, all that good stuff. But now, since, let me talk to y'all. No. Now, since I um have these bands, yeah. it's so, like, irritating because... One, I have to take them out every time I eat and brush my teeth. So, but then they said I'm only supposed to change it three times a day. So that's like they forcing yeah. me to only eat three times a day. And when it's time for me to eat, that's when I brush my teeth, eat, do it all in one. And then I got to put my bands back in to like lunchtime. Then I can take them off, eat again. Y'all, I'll be really hesitant to put these in and off because every time I re-put another one in, the rubber band, I'm going to show y'all how small these rubber bands are. They're like this big. And it's like really pulling. You feel it every time. Like, I still I still haven't been able to eat comfortably yet. And it's been, it's on, um, what was this? I got them, I got them Saturday. And this is Thursday. And they still hurt. Usually when I get my braces tightened, it only hurts for like a day or two. No, guess what? Oh yeah, I'm trying to show. This is how small the rubber band is, y'all. Hopefully, I can get it. That's how little these rubber bands are. Like I don't even know if y'all can see. I'm gonna hold it like this. And I have to pull it from the back all the way to the front. From the back all the way to the front. These things hurt every time I put it in. But yeah, y'all. The coffee is making, and I'm probably not about to eat until I do Bible study. They're eating, then I'm gonna straighten up. I have a lot of clothes to fold because I just been washing, washing, washing and I fold it, fold it, fold it. So I got a lot to uh, fold and then I'm gonna um, start going through their clothes for the trip. That's what the plan is so far for today. So I'll be back after Bible study. Or maybe y'all could do Bible study with me. I don't know. I have, I'm not. I'm not there yet for y'all to do Bible study with me. So I'm gonna do Bible study and then I'm gonna come back when it's time for me to fold these clothes or clean this house, one or the other. Okay, you guys. So it is the afternoon. I have not eaten, y'all. I literally, I literally been reading and it was on TikTok a little bit, but my TikTok feed is like all godly. Stuff. I was still getting some knowledge on TikTok, but then clean up. I had the kids, my children clean up some stuff. Not fully clean the way I want it to be. But they want, they've been bugging me to go on this walk for like two days. So I'm about to, we about to go on this little quick walk to the park. I'm gonna let them play with the dog for a little bit and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna try to get some footage of me cleaning and folding and all of that stuff. You guys have been procrastinating today, but I'm not too mad about it because me being in my word and getting to know God is very much worth it. So, but I'm gonna see you guys better go on this walk. So, come with us. Go! Go! She want to run with them. <laughs> Stop, princess. He wanted to push her. Princess! Oh, she just broke the thing. She just pulled the thing. That's me, Tima. Every time I get in, I need to It's not Tima. Y'all need to stop because I don't know if a car is coming. So wait, right there. I hope she don't poop because I did not bring her back. Stop. All right, let's go. No. Y'all stop running because she thinks she can run. Come back over here. A bicycle. Stop. And her pull you, Marla. Whoa. 
What, Marcus? Oh yeah, that's for the garbage. Now, now walk fast. She look like she gotta go to the bathroom, and I'm gonna be so sorry. Y'all, I forgot it rained yesterday, so they can't even play in the park. But this is the dog park. This is where the dogs play. It's nothing really spectacular. It's just a fence with grass. Y'all, Princess is tired. She even laid out on the floor. I gave her a bowl of water over. All right, let me get cleaning, y'all. All right, y'all, this is all the dishes I gotta do. And then I need to play some gospel music because I just been really frustrated and I think it's because the house not clean. So once I get this house clean, I feel like I'm gonna feel a lot better. But stay tuned, I'm about to speed this up while I do these dishes. I'm probably not even going to wash these dishes. I'm going to clean them off a little bit and put them in the dishwasher. you guys I am done with the bath I mean with the kitchen I really think that I'm gonna keep my counters and stuff like this because I just feel like it look way more cleaner to me without the coffee and the blender and all of that 
Can you get out the kitchen, Marla? Ew, Okay, now come out. Um, I decided to do a deep clean because uh, those, remember I told y'all those nets and um, those flies, they keep, I don't know what they want. So I did a deep clean in this kitchen. I wiped the counters and stuff. I did the stove, all of that. I gotta get some more of these. So that's why I still got the little rust around it. But other than that, this is what it's looking like. So yeah. All right, you guys. So I just cleaned up that kitchen, a deep clean with that kitchen. And um, it was like I was so focused on the kitchen that I forgot about the rest of this house. So I do have to finish the rest. I don't know if I'm going to film it or not because I don't know if y'all tired of seeing me clean or not. But um, look at all these clothes I got to do. Piled up clothes, y'all. How are those clothes? I have to wa I have to fold all of these clothes and then start packing. So yeah, and then I gotta clean the rest of this. I gotta sweep this carpet. Y'all, I'm thinking about throwing this carpet away because I spilled coffee on it and it's just a mess. And I have to clean this living room, I mean this dining room, as y'all can see, a mess. <sighs> then I gotta clean up in this bathroom. It's not as bad, but it's still a mess. Look at this, a bowl in there. Like, why is it a bowl in there? I, oh, hey, no, y'all, I cleaned my room, and look at it. And so y'all decided to eat Starburst? I might eat it, I only ate two. You ate some. So, yeah, that's, that's that. That's that. Mommy, Laura gave it to me. Mommy. Okay, I heard you. Mommy gave it to me. Now y'all understand why I'm so, like, tad bit irritated but listening to the gospel music is definitely getting me there cleaning my kitchen got me there a little bit so i'm about to finish cleaning up this house as y'all seen it was terrible terrible so let me get clean it i might show y'all the final look of everything being clean and yeah i'll be back all right you guys so i have them all cleaning something lamar has to clean the bathroom Marcus has to clean my room because they messed it up all together because it was clean earlier. And Marla, well, he has one thing. He has to clean this entire room. Y'all, it's not that bad. Let me show y'all. He just got to clean this little bit off the floor. Pick up this dirty clothes basket. And that's all he got. He got to make up the bed. Now, Lamar, he has to clean this bathroom. He does really well. So, he know how to wipe the tub out. Wipe the toilet, wipe the sink. You're gonna have to make sure you sweep. He already took the rugs out. And he gotta do this hallway. Marla has to do this dining room. Not even hard, to be honest. And she has to do this living room. Not even hard, honestly. I should have gave this to Marcus and gave her the bedroom. But because it's two, she don't have to touch them clothes because I'm end up folding them after they're done cleaning. I gotta mon I gotta, you know, supervise them in this clinic so I can make sure my house is clean right. What are you doing? It's no talking. They cannot talk. We're only listening to gospel music. So yeah. Um I'm going to I I am going to update you guys on their cleaning. And yeah, we gotta get this together because. This house is ridiculous and it's just giving me anxiety. So after you done clean it, take a nice shower. Cause that's what I'm about to do. Once this house is clean, take a nice shower, release all that stress and leave it in that water. But yes y'all, I'll keep y'all updated. All right, you guys, I want to show you guys the house before it get too junky. Cause you know how to get, but I have their clothes ready for our trip. All up there, that's Lamar market stuff. And then I have to do my stuff folded and all of that. And they got their socks and stuff over there. And then they, I had them clean up. Y'all knew what it looked like before. I had them clean their room. And then, you already know, Lamar did the bathroom. Marcus did his best with making the bed. So, yeah, y'all. Just wanted to show y'all. So, you guys... For y'all, it took like literally a split second, but for us, it took like, uh, I want to say two, 
two hours because I literally cleaned out their whole clothes basket and we had to find all matching socks and all of that stuff. So it took like two hours for us to finish all of this stuff. Now all I gotta do is put all this stuff in book bags. Y'all, I'm prepared. I'm being prepared and our trip is not till Thursday, next Thursday. So I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be set. So yeah. Um, that's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.